<laughs> oh, hey guys, I didn't know y'all were coming over. Yeah, we were just yeah, in the neighborhood. Rolling. We all gotta see this video I just made. Come on inside. Okay. You made a video? Okay, guys, so I was watching the Space Channel, right? Mm -hmm. And they're having this contest. Whoever makes the best space video, they'll air it on next week's episode. Oh, cool. dude, it's so awesome. It's really cool. What's your video about? It's yeah. right here. It's called Junior's Trip to the Sun. Oh, you know how the sun's a dude. planet? Well, I'd be the first person to land on the sun. That is it's genius. It's going to be really cool. Be awesome. The sun is not a planet, Junior. It's a star. What? The sun is a planet, Cody. Yeah, it is a planet. over this. It's a star, Junior. Well, the sun is round. The Earth is round. They're both planets. We're Why not are you doing always this again? hating, Cody? Go, how, how about you watch the video, Cody? Fine. Yeah. Watch the video. <laughs> Junior's trip to the sun! Hi, NASA. My name is Junior, and uh, this is my Lego space shuttle. And I want to go on a mission to land on the sun because the sun is a planet just like the Earth. Because the sun is not a star, it's not in a star shape, it's round just like the Earth. So hold on, let me get inside my space shuttle real quick. Uh, going up the elevator. Uh, all right, Houston. Uh, all computers are ready. Uh, ready for blast off. Three, two, one, take off. <laughs> That's what a space shuttle sounds like. Okay, I left Earth's atmosphere. I'm ready to decouple. All right, getting rid of all that fuel that I don't need. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to head to the sun to land on it because it is a planet just like the Earth. All right, there's the sun. Uh, Houston, we're getting really close to the sun right now. Uh, hold on, we're about to land. Okay, and a successful landing on the sun. Houston, prepare the sun dance. I'm on the sun. I'm on the sun. You're not. And I'm on the sun. Because it's a planet. I'm on the sun. I'm on the sun. <sighs> the end. What the hell was that? Dude, that was genius. You're right, right? The sun dance, Junior. Yeah, the sun dance. It's just like the moonwalk. Yeah, yeah, they're like, I'm on the sun. I'm on oh, the yeah. sun. Does, does the sun I'm dance on... have a part where you burst into flames and die? Because that's what would happen. Why, from oh. the moves being still hot? <laughs> no, from the heat, Junior. The sun is almost 10,000 degrees. 10,000 degrees? Yeah. That's a lot of college, Cody. D Dude, Junior, is. okay, I'll put it in stupid people terms for you. Sun, hot, burn, ow, die. Okay, I but I can say to... words too. Sun, what? planet, round. Junior, you wouldn't even make it to the sun. You would burn up before you even got there. What? Yeah, the Lego guy made it to the sun. But that's because it's Legos, Junior. What? Dude, Cody, it's a planet. You know what? Play your stupid video again, and I will voice over it and tell you how it would really go. Uh, okay. Just play it. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm an astronaut, but I'm also retarded and I want to die, so I'm gonna go to the sun. Let's go! Here I go, I'm gonna blast off. Three, two, one, whatever, take off! Oh, here I am, I'm at the sun and dead! You wouldn't die immediately, Cody. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm burning up! Ah, help me, I'm on fire! Ah, the end! I think I like Junior's better, dude. Yeah, I like mine better, Cody. Yours was depressing. Yeah. What? Because that's what would actually happen, Junior. You would die. Well, what about the sun dance? I'm on the sun. Oh, yes. I'm on the sun. You would die I'm before you sun. even got on the sun, Junior. There would be no time for sun dance. Okay, the only time you would burn up, Cody, is if you landed on a star. But yeah. the sun is a planet. The sun is the a star. You know what? Screw it. I'm going home. I don't need this. What? Someone's having a hissy fit. Yeah, what? he's just jealous because... <gasps> what was that knock on the door? Ooh, uh, he's probably Cody apologizing. <laughs> yeah, he's right? already coming back saying he's like, I'm right. Hello? hello? No, I say hello. No, no, it's, it's my, my apartment. No, it's your dad's apartment. But I live with my dad, so technically okay, it's my apartment. It's my apartment. Hey, 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 which one of you is Junior? Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's Junior. That's me. Oh, okay, hi, NASA. NASA? Yeah. He's from NASA, Junior! No way, dude. No, what do you want? Well, I'm a space cadet Brooklyn T guy, and I came here about your video. <laughs> my video? You saw my video? You saw my video? Yeah. Can I come inside? Hey, sure, come, come inside. <laughs> All right, so we at NASA saw your video, and, uh... You did? Yeah, we were impressed, to say the least. They were impressed, Joseph. Dude, that's all. Yep. They were impressed. Yeah, we, uh... We've always had the sun on file as a star, what? but after watching your video, we noticed that the sun is round like a planet. Yeah, yeah it's round, because the Earth is round, and right. Jupiter's round, and yeah, Mercury's exactly. round, and the sun is round. Right, it's not star-shaped like stars are, and, yeah, yeah. and you were dancing on it. Can't do that on a yeah, star. I'm on the sun, right, right, I'm yeah, on the yeah, sun. Yeah, that was, that was, that was they saw Joseph, I know. That was a good dance. So, uh, we've decided we're going to give you your own space shuttle, <gasps> and you're going to go up to the sun yourself to prove it's a planet. No way. Really? Yep. I get to go to the sun? Dude, it's so cool. Oh, my God. You even get to name the space shuttle. I get to name. Name the space you shuttle? Want. Yeah. Anything else? Ooh, name it Black Warhawk or Sea Dragon I or mean, something like that. Like some of the past names were like Challenger and Columbia, but I, I wouldn't recommend either of those. <gasps> um, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, um. Come on, dude, you can think of a good one. Uh, I got it. What is it? Space Shuttle Octopus. Uh, octopus? Yes. 
Like a dude, dude, that is cool. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's futuristic. Uh, octopus. <laughs> Space oh, okay. shuttle octopus. That's what I want to name it. Octopus. Sure, sure. Octopus. What, what, yes. what do I get to go to the sun? Uh, well, I'm going to leave you today to just make your preparations, tell people where you're going. Okay. And then I'm going to see you bright and early tomorrow to take you to Port Canaveral for training so you can go to the sun. Oh, my God. Dude, I can go to the sun. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Just in case people don't believe you, I got you a letter right here. You see that? NASA man? That's me. Really? Yep. Oh, oh, okay. It's an official record, dude. Uh, I'm gonna be like Neil Armstrong. Can I talk to Neil Armstrong? Uh, he is dead. What about Lance Armstrong? Uh, he is career dead. Well, oh. So. I'm well, anyway, I get to go to the sun! Yeah. Oh All my right. god! So you get ready, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Oh my god, we gotta call Cody. Oh, we yeah. gotta call Cody. We gotta rub it in, dude. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? What do you want, Junior? Uh, come inside, Cody. I got something to show you. <laughs> Junior, why did you invite me over? Well, Cody, guess who NASA's sending to the sun? What? Joseph, point at me. Hmm? Point at me. Hmm. He's pointing at me. I'm what? going to the sun. Yeah, I can see that. You're not going to the sun, Junior. Uh, yeah, yeah, huh? Joseph, yes, tell him. Yes, he is, dude. I've seen him with my own eyes. Yeah. Dude came here. Yeah, NASA sent a guy here, and the guy brought me a letter. Hold on, where's the letter? Yeah, it's official, not, too. There's no way they're sending you to the sun, Junior. Uh, right here. Read it and not, weep. But, 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 NASA, man. Yeah. That, that's pretty official. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they, told you, yeah they're sending me to the sun on my own space shuttle. No, no, it... How, like, this can't be possible. They wouldn't send you to the sun. Yeah, yes, they would. Joseph, Joseph, t tell them the name of my space shuttle. Ooh, ooh, his space shuttle is Space Shuttle Octopus. Yeah, Octopus. Octopus. Space Shuttle Octopus. It's crazy what? futuristic. That sounds like something you made up. I did just make it up, because I just named it today. I just, I just made it up. Yeah, they gave him the opportunity to name it. You named it after a sea creature? Yeah, Octopus. Now that, not like a bird or something else. It's Sea creature. Yeah, yeah octopus. Yeah, it's wow. just cool. I, I, I don't know, Junior. I, I don't feel like they would send you on a suicide mission to the sun. Y yes, they would. And when I get to the sun, I'm going to grab those 10,000 degrees, and I'm going to be the smartest man on the planet. Oh, that's smart, dude. Yeah, all right. I you know what? Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good that you're going to the sun. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to need this time to reflect on my actions and just think over my life for a minute. So uh, I'll see y'all later, okay? Fine. Wait, Wait, I have to leave? Yeah, Joseph, I'm leaving tomorrow to Port Canaveral, or Captain Crunch, or whatever it's called. So I, I need to sit here and just think about it for a minute. I just... Um, I'll well, see you later. I I'll see you before I launch, Joseph. Okay, you're right, dude. I'll see you later. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to the sun. Breaking news, okay? We have reports that NASA's going to send a child to the sun. Rumors are saying that since the sun is round like the Earth, that it may be a planet. It may be a planet. So NASA is sending a child to the sun to prove that it is a planet. We'll give you more information as the story develops. Okay, guys, this is it. I'm going to the sun. Oh my God, dude, you're gonna be in the history. Uh, I know. Junior, you're going to burn up before you even get to the sun. What? What? Stop being a Debbie Downer, Cody. I'm not gonna burn up. I have a flame retarded suit on. Yeah. Retardant? Don't no. you mean retardant? No, flame retarded. I'm an astronaut, Cody. Yeah, he would know, duh. He's yeah. an astronaut. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in about a week. A, a week? Oh, is that how long you think it takes to get to the sun and back? A week, really? Well, it doesn't seem that far away, Cody. But really, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. You're I, just going to eyeball it and tell me it's going to be a week. I'm an astronaut, Cody. He's the one in the flame retarded suit. Yeah, anyway, Joseph, um, you've always been my favorite friend. Uh, I'll be back in a week, okay. and I'll bring you some sun kiss. Ooh, sun kiss? I love sun kiss. Sun kiss. That's where it comes from. Sun kiss comes from the sun. And I'll bring you some sun rocks, Cody. Right, you do that. You have fun burning to death. He's not going to burn. <sighs> T minus one minute, mark and counting. All right, kid, you ready to go to space? Oh my God, I'm gonna be the first person to land on the sun. I'm so ready, I'm so ready. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. Send me to the sun, I'm ready. All right, just gonna do some computer stuff here and uh, we're gonna be ready for launch soon, all right? Breaking news, okay? Space Shuttle Octopus is about to take off and head towards the sun. And we have the live feed right here, okay? Let's have a look. All right, kid, are you ready for launch? I'm ready for liftoff. All right, starting at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And we have liftoff. Puppy ride! Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick! Oh, he's so beautiful! You know he's never coming back, right?
Space Shuttle Octopus has successfully left Earth's atmosphere, Mkod. I can't believe Junior's actually going to the sun. Man, I can't believe I actually know an astronaut! <laughs> How's the view up there? It's amazing! I can see everything! I think I can see my house from here! Alright, so uh, now we're gonna activate Supersonic Boom Supremo Fast Mode, and uh, you should be at the sun shortly. Okay, I'm ready. Activated. Sun, here I come. I'm gonna prove you're a planet once and for all. Oh, Space Shuttle Octopus, because it has eight arms and there's eight planets. Wait, what are you talking about, Cody? It's ten planets. What? what? How are there ten planets? There's Did eight... you forget about Pluto in the sun? Duh. Pluto's not a planet, and the sun is a star. <sighs> Whatever, Junior approve it when he comes back. All right, and we see here Space Shuttle Octopus is approaching the sun. Ooh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's getting hot in here. It's getting, it's getting really hot in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen. <sighs> I don't care. I don't care how hot it is, because I'm going to land on the sun. I'm going to be the first person to land on the Oh my god. I'm sorry, we have lost feed with Space Shuttle Octopus. It appears that the Space Shuttle has exploded. Yep. Hey, planets, huh? I'm receiving word that, uh... NASA Space Cadet Brooklyn T. Guy is holding press conference. Let's go to that. All right, all right, everybody, quiet down, quiet down. Okay, so uh, it is true that we have gotten some reports that the Space Shuttle Octopus has exploded upon getting close to the sun, because that's what happens, okay? Do not be alarmed. This was always the plan. Uh, that kid we sent up there was, well, quite frankly, he was a friggin' idiot, because the sun is not a planet. I want that to be very clear. The sun is not a planet. That was the stupidest thing we had ever heard, and we didn't want him on this planet anymore. We sent him up to the sun to get him out of our hair once and for all, okay? I know it cost us billions of dollars, but in the end, I think it was worth it, and uh, that is all. No further questions, please. Now it's time to make me a smoothie. What? <sighs> Who could that be? Hello? Hey, Mario, what's up? Uh, hey, uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, you know, I was just in the neighborhood, and uh, I need your help with something. Uh, okay, uh, come on inside, I guess. All right. So, what do you need help with? Oh, it's nothing big, really. Just a small favor. I, uh, I need you to help me steal a car. What? Steal a car? What? Yeah, Lamborghini to be exact. Why do you need to steal a Lamborghini? Oh, you remember that girl that I had over here the other day, and I, I told her this was my house and that I was really rich? Well, she's not talking to me, so if I show up at a house in a Lamborghini, then she'll talk to me. Well, you don't need a Lamborghini to get a girl to talk to you. Uh, believe me, with this girl, I definitely do. Okay, okay, fine. Well, where are we gonna find a Lamborghini to steal, even if I was gonna help you? Oh, well, you know, you have that friend Goodman, right? He has a Lamborghini. He's not my friend. I just pay him my house payments. Yeah, about that. Uh, I, I've been stealing the house payments from your mailbox for the last few months, so that's why he hasn't been getting them. You've been stealing my house payments? Why? Uh, well, just for this exact moment, really. I mean, he usually shows up the day after he doesn't get his payment, so he should be showing up any minute, because I took this month's payment, too. What? Uh oh, there he is. Why would you do this to me? Look, man, this girl's really hot. You've seen her. I don't care how hot she is. Look, all you have to do is steal his Lamborghini keys, give them to me, and then distract him for a little while. I'll just jump in his car and take off. He won't even notice it's gone. Oh, he's not going to notice his Lamborghini's missing? No, I'm not even going to be gone that long. Just like, just like a couple hours. A couple hours? Well, look, if everything goes right, it won't even take that long. Just like, just like 30 seconds. Eh? Eh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it don't last long. Okay, okay, so even if I did help you, what do I get out of it? Well, I'll give you all your house payments back. Okay, fine. I'll try to get the car keys. Okay, thanks, man. You're the best. I'll be over here. Uh, hello? Guess where my left hand is, Mario. Uh, it's, it's cradled around my ball sack. And every time you lie to me, I squeeze my balls harder and harder every single time. So go ahead, Mario. Tell me where your house payment is. Okay, okay. I swear to God I paid it. <laughs> No, 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 like, like, for real, I paid it. Oh, you did? No, I really did. Look, someone's been stealing uh, my mail out of my mailbox. And someone's squeezing my balls, Mario. Well, you're squeezing your balls. Uh, no, I'm not, Mario. You're doing this to me. You're squeezing my balls every time you miss your house payment. Okay, look, I've been making my house payment, but people have been stealing them out of my mailbox. Look, it's a long story, but uh, uh, I see you brought your Lamborghini. Oh, I sure did, Mario. And the only way I'm going to be able to afford five more of them is if you make your house payment on time. Okay, well, just come on inside and we can discuss it. The only thing we're discussing is cash or check, Mario. Okay, so let's discuss this house payment thing. The only thing we're discussing is cash or check, Mario. Whoa, I, I never really noticed your Lamborghini until now. It's really nice, but I've never seen a Lamborghini key before. C can I see it? Here you go, Mario. 
Lamborghini key. You can now see it. That's what it looks like. Pay me your house payment. Oh my god, it's horrible. Somebody's robbing the orphanage and they're stealing all their food and books and they've taken the orphans hostage. Well, maybe you should do something about that. Oh, I would, but my police car, it, it, it exploded and, and now I, I don't have a car and I'm the only cop in town, so I, I need a car that can go really fast so I can get there in time. Well, I mean, Goodman has a Lamborghini. Well, he has a Lamborghini? Isn't that a fast car? Mm -hmm. uh, can I borrow your car so I can save those orphans? No! What? Why not? Because I don't care. It's not my problem. You don't care about orphans? Nope. What, uh, uh, what's that? Oh, di dispatch is telling me that, that they've taken the orphans to a bank, and they're making the orphans rob the bank, and they're stealing all the money. So I, I, I really need a car so I can stop those robber orphans. Well, it's a good thing the bank is federally insured. Uh, oh, 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 what's that? Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no, there's, there's a, they're, they're starting to burn down hospitals now. The orphans are burning down hospitals all across the country. It's, it's awful. I, I, a lot of people are going to die if I, if I don't get that car. Once again... Not my problem. Uh, uh, I don't care. Uh, 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 wait, what, what's what's that? Uh, uh, oh, oh. What? Why'd you knock him out? Okay, look, I tried every lie I could think of. All right, uh, now just give me that car key. Uh, okay. All right, great. Well, what if he wakes up? Oh, um, just, just, just use this again. Uh, I'll be back before he wakes up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh. Sparkle, I love you. I need you. I stole this Lamborghini so that you'll talk to me. Baby, I love you. Please come outside. <sighs> okay, so I guess she can't hear the music. She must be sleeping or something. <sighs> I need a way to wake her up. Ooh, what if I throw pebbles out a window? Yeah, that always works in movies. Let's do that. <sighs> all right, I can do this. I was all state on my high school baseball team. I was striking everybody out. I was until I broke my arm anyway. Uh, let's see if I still got it. Let me throw her a fastball. Uh. Huh? What was that noise? What? She didn't hear that? That must have been too small. Story of my life. All right, let me get a bigger one. Oh, yeah, she's going to hear this one. Uh. What was that? Oh, shit. Hey, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Wait, what are you doing here? I'm going to call the cops. Uh, actually, you can't call the cops because I technically am a cop. Well, not right now. Right now I'm a doctor. But before I was a cop because I was going to say you stole my heart. But uh, now I'm a doctor because I saved your life. Wait, you really did? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just uh, taking some toys to the orphanage in my Lamborghini. And then I saw an injured puppy in the road. And so I stopped to help him and bring him to the vet. And then I also saw this kid getting bullied. So I went over to stop the bullies. And they started throwing rocks at me. And then one of the rocks went over my head and hit you in the face. So, so, so I beat up the bullies. And I saved the kid. And I saved the puppy. And I took the toys to the orphanage. And then I came here and saved you. Oh my goodness, you're my hero. Yeah, and you, you, you're, you're pretty gullible. I, I, I mean, beautiful. And I, I, I was also coming over here to apologize for calling you fat the other night. I was just, I was feeling emotional because my wife died and everything, and I'm really sorry. I, I just, I wanted to see if you maybe wanted to go to a movie with me. I mean, you did save my life, so yeah, yeah. I guess I will. I, 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 I sure did. I, I did save your life. So, uh, is it 7 o'clock then? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. All right, I'm all ready for my date. I got this. I'm going to get some tonight. Got the Lamborghini, now I'm going to go get the girl. <laughs> what, what is this? What, what, she, what, she's already there. What, I guess I'll meet her at the movie then, okay? Hey, Sparkle, are you ready for our date? Wait, why are you naked? What, naked? What? Oh, silly me! I must have forgotten to wear clothes again. Happens to me all the time, especially before I go to work. Is that, does that ever happen to you? Usually I take off my clothes when I get to work. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh, r remind me to visit you at work sometime. Huh. Do you think you can get me some popcorn? Uh, okay. Well, what size? Large. It's the only large thing you get in the night. <sighs> all right, I get you $15 popcorn. You hear that? $15 for popcorn! You better eat all of it. I don't want to find a single piece on the ground. Not even that one. They also made me put on a shirt, because apparently being naked in a movie theater is frowned upon. I'll be damned if they make me wear pants, though. Let's watch this movie. Can I get a drink? A drink? What do you think? I'm made of money? You have a Lamborghini. Well, I don't have a Lamborghini. I, I, I do have a Lamborghini. You're right. That, that is my Lamborghini. Not, not borrowed. That's, that's mine. So, 
So we should be able to afford a $15 drink. All right, what do you want to drink? Grape soda. Ew, why? Grape soda? What's wrong with your mouth? All right, fine, I'll get you your grape soda. I'll have to sell a kidney to be able to afford it. All right, here's your grape soda. It was 20 bucks. 20 bucks for grape soda. At least it went to a good cause. Grape soda? Ew. Anyway, I only got one straw, so we're gonna have to share it, if you know what I mean. I have my own straw. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. You know what? You can just use this one. I didn't want it anyway, because it's grape soda. I wanted to enjoy my movie, not gag the whole time. And now let's watch The Incredibles 2. It's starting. Bob, Dash got sent to the office today at school. Mom, what the fuck? Oh, that's great, honey. I don't think you heard me, Bob. I said Dash got sent to the office. Wait, what for? He smacked a girl on the ass. Oh, he must have been booking it. How fast were you going? We're not going to encourage this, Bob. I'm going to the office. Well, Violet, what's wrong, honey? You barely touched your macaroni. I'm not hungry. Well, it's leftover night. What are you hungry for? Tony Ranger! Shut up, you little insect! Well, you are! Kids, settle down. No. Violet, do you want some meatloaf? No! She wanted if it was Tony Loaf! That's it! <laughs> Bob, the kids are fighting again. Come stop them. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. Oops. Oops! Oops! Yeah, oops! It's $15 popcorn! It's all over the floor! That's a $15 oops! I, I didn't know the floor liked popcorn so much. Hey, Mr. Floor, you want some more popcorn? Because apparently we're not going to eat any more of ours. So you can just take it. You know what? You can just take my money, too. Here's 40 bucks. You can only buy two bucks of popcorn with it, though. It's just popcorn. No, no, it's not just popcorn. It's $15 popcorn. Apparently, it's made of gold or something. <sighs> but you're rich. No, I don't know why you keep saying that. I'm not Yes, I am. I am rich. I miss the money bags. That's me. So, so rich. How's your grape soda? Is it $20 good? I guess. You guess. All right, let's just watch this movie. Honey, where's my super suit? You wearing it, you dumb fuck! I need more soda. What, need more soda? Where did it all go? Do you have to pee yet? But I'm all out of soda. What, and I'm all out of money, so I don't know what to tell you. You threw money on the ground. What? Yeah, yeah, I did. All right, more grape soda? Oops! <laughs> you don't need any more soda. Drink your saliva. Mom, can I play sports? No! Why not? Because it's cheating! But I can run really fast! I know, that's why it's cheating! Why don't we let him compete? Why don't we let him go out for sports? You know why, Bob. Cause he'd be great! No, we have to hide our powers. Because we're freaks? Well, Dad said our powers are nothing to be ashamed of. Cause they're not! I can literally bitch press a train, you have the stretchiest pussy I've ever seen, Jack-Jack practically rolled out of your pussy, and Dash over there ran out of your pussy, and we didn't even know Violet was born until she was 10 years old! We're not having this discussion, Bob. So, Elastigirl, right? She's like, really stretchy? So, whenever she gave birth, did she have to push that much, or did they just like, stretch her open and shove the whole arm inside and pull the baby out? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. <clears throat> so, uh, does she ever get constipated, or does it just, like, fall out? Because I would think she would need a diaper, but it would have to be, like, a really stretchy diaper. Like, like, Pampers, maybe? You don't know. Oh, oh, oh man, I am really tired. Shh. Does this bitch just shush me? Uh, uh, mm, uh. Um, what are you doing? No, 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 nothing, nothing. I, I was just, um... It's smelling your hair, see what kind of conditioner you used, because cause your hair is really, really oily, ick. That's because I don't wash my hair. <clears throat> Why? Because it's healthier, I don't want all the chemicals in my hair. What, what like soap? You don't want soap in your hair? I, I mean, what else don't you wash? I, I need to know before this date goes any farther. What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't want to get pink eye when I'm motorboating you. Uh, we're done here. What? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, no, that, 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 that's fine. That's fine. You're gonna go to a fancy restaurant and throw your food on the ground? Oh, how about you gonna go take a shower? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just watch Incredibles 2 by myself. Are you ready to die? Violet, help. You tied me in a knot. Use your force field. But, Mom, you told us not to use our powers. God damn it, I know what I told you. Now use it. No! Ah, oh, great. The movie's over. I just spent $30 on popcorn and a drink, and I didn't even get any. <sighs> hey, Mario. Here's the keys. How was your date? Did you get any? No. I'm gonna keep trying, though. Oh, he's waking up. 
<gasps> what the hell happened? Uh, you squeezed your balls until you passed out. Oh, huh. seems like something I would do. Yeah, and you <laughs> left your key. So. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Mario, where's my house payment? Uh, you gotta discuss that with him. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, I'll go get the chair. Hey, Danny, come pour glitter all over the couch. No! Why? I think it would make the couch look pretty pretty. No, it would not make the couch pretty pretty. It'd make the couch messy messy. How about you do something less messy, like make your Christmas list for Santa Claus? Santa Claus can lick my jingle balls. Jeffy, did you just say balls? No, I said bells. I said jingle bells. I heard balls. Because that's because you have a dirty mind, Daddy. You need to get your mind out of the gutter. Look, how about you just make your Christmas list for Santa Claus? All right, Daddy. Hmm, now what do I want for Christmas? Jimmy! I wonder why? Why? Why are you hitting me? Because you spilled glitter all over the couch! No, I didn't! Yes, you did! With your elbow! Well, I'm sorry for having elbows! I'll go get them surgically removed just for you for Christmas, Daddy! Jimmy, clean up this glitter right now! I gotta make my Christmas list for Santa Claus! You don't get a Christmas list anymore because you're a bad boy and Santa thinks you're a bad boy! <laughs> Yeah, Santa thinks you're a bad boy. What? Because you spill glitter all over the, the, the couch and you make my life horrible. Ah! Mario, you're too hard on him. He spilled glitter all over the couch. He didn't mean to, Mario. It was an accident. An accident? I think he did it on purpose. Every move he makes is a chess piece being moved off the board. He, he, he thinks of everything. Everything he does is planned. And telling him that he's not going to get any Christmas presents this year is mean. Well, he's not going to get anything. He's not. Mario, go help him make his Christmas list. Okay, on his Christmas list, I'm going to put a vacuum to clean up all this glitter. <sighs> <sighs> Jeffy, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Let's make your Christmas list. Aw, Daddy. Jeffy, what are you doing in there? Aw, why does my daddy hate me? Jeffy, what was that noise? It was just me complaining. Oh, I thought you had someone in here. Anyway, Jeffy, I'm sorry for yelling at you, so I'm going to help you make your Christmas list. Oh, help me make my Christmas list, Daddy. I'll stop. Jeffy, just grab a piece of paper and let's make your Christmas list. All right, Dave. Well, I actually already wrote my list to Santa Claus. You already wrote it. Beep. Uh, dear Santa Claus, what I want for Christmas is a PlayStation 5. Love, Jeffy. Yep, Daddy. All I want is a PlayStation 5. Well, just put your letter in this note to the North Pole. Oh, give me your North Pole, Daddy. Ow! Jeffy, just put it in here. All right, fine. All right, baby, hide this. Just so we send it to the North Pole. What? Uh, all right, Jeffy, we just sent your letter to the North Pole. Okay, Daddy. I'm so excited for Santa Claus to start making my PlayStation 5. Um, Mario, no, you didn't. It's right here. <gasps> Daddy, you didn't mail my letter to Santa Claus? Baby, why couldn't you lie with me? Why couldn't you have my back? <gasps> oh. Yeah, oh, you were supposed to lie with me. Sorry, Mario. Uh, all right, Jeffy, I, I, it must have fell out of the mailbox. I'll go put it back in there. Yeah, Daddy, you better mail my letter to Santa Claus. Where are they even going to send it to if I put it in the mailbox? Mario, they'll find a place to mail it. Go, go. There is no North Pole. Hey there, face eater, you freak. What you want? You get your first piece of mail. Maybe it's a letter from one of the families of your victims. I never begets mails while I'm in years. Here, take it. <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of mails I got. Let's see. Dear Santa Claus, what the? What I want for Christmas is a PlayStation 5. Love, Jeffy. Oh my god. I got a secret admirer. I hope he's got a tasty face. I'm gonna write back to him. All right, Jeffy, I just sent your letter to the North Pole. Daddy, I don't care which side of the pole she's on. I'm still throwing cash as long as she's twerking that bottom. <laughs> what? I don't even know. What? Baby, you, you never cleaned up the glitter? Oh, was I supposed to? Wait, you, you cook and clean. That's what you do, right? Oh, but Mario, it's so pretty. They look like shiny stars. It looks like a big mess. Look, I'm going to grab some paper towels to clean it up. Paper towels? Oh, I, I don't have a vacuum, so I don't know how to clean it up. Um, it's pronounced vacuum, Daddy. <sighs> I have to get so many paper towels. What? Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hello! I was going through your mail and I found a letter for you! You can't go through my mail! I know! It is a federal offense! So evil! <laughs> Just give me my mail! Okay! Who's at the door, Mario? It was the devil, and he brought mail for Jeffy! <gasps> Maybe it's Santa Claus! Aw, Mario, 
did you write a fake response to Jeffy from Santa? What? No, why would I entertain him? All right, the letter says, hey, Jeffy, I love you too. You'll get a PlayStation 5 if you send me a shovel. Love, face eater. Mario, why would you write that? I did not write that. Who's face eater? Maybe it's Santa Claus's secret name. No, he'd probably go by cookie eater or milk drinker, not... Face eater? Oh, maybe he likes sucking face, because you know Mrs. Claus got that wagon. What? Baby, who would send this to Jeffy? I don't know. This is really weird, Mario. And why would this person want Jeffy to send him a shovel? <gasps> Mario, look at the news! Breaking news, okay? The known criminal, face eater, who was convicted of eating 10 people's faces, was denied parole for the fifth time earlier today. He's scheduled for the electric chair next month, and he's currently being held in solitary confinement at the North Pole Penitentiary Prison. What? Mario, a criminal is writing letters to our son, Jeffy! Why is this happening? I don't know! Baby, when I wrote North Pole on the envelope, they accidentally sent it to North Pole Prison. Oh, no! So is this Santa Claus or not? No, Jeffy, it's not Santa Claus. But Santa Claus wrote me a letter and said that he needs a shovel. So what if he's stuck in the snow or something? It's not Santa Claus. He's not stuck in the snow. This is a criminal. Daddy, just because Santa Claus breaks into people's houses and leaves presents behind does not make him a criminal. This is a criminal, Jeffy. It's not Santa Claus. And you're not helping him. You're not sending him a shovel. But Santa Claus needs a shovel, Daddy. So I'm going to send him a shovel. Oh, no, you're not. You're grounding. You're going to your room. Oh. All right, Jeffy. You're going to stay in your room because you're grounding. You're not going anywhere. But but Santa Claus needs my help! You're not gonna help him! He needs a shovel! Well, you're staying in your room, you're grounded! <sighs> oh, what am I gonna do to help Santa Claus? Oh, what am I gonna do, Daddy? Hey, Jeffy, I was under the covers the whole time. I heard everything. How do we help Santa Claus? Well, Santa Claus is stuck in the snow, Junior. And I need you to go to the store and buy a shovel and then mail it to the North Pole so we can help Santa Claus. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll go get a shovel. All right, thanks, Junior. Hey, face eater, you freak. You call me freaks one more time, so I'm gonna break out of here and I'm gonna eat your face off! Yeah, well, I don't know who's been sending you all this mail, but they just sent you a package. Now, I'm a very trusting person, so I didn't look through it, but I trust you to tell me if there's anything bad in here instead of trying to break out. All right, now open up the gate so I can put it in there. All right, here you go. You freak! Oh, if I could get out of here, I'd eat your face off so bad! From my lover, Jeffy. Oh, let's see what you sent me. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna see you soon, my love. Hey, face eater, you freak. I got your dinner, your goldfish crackers. And don't worry, you can just eat the faces if you want to. Hey, I'm talking to you, face eater. Are you in there? You, you freak? You're a freak. Oh, no, is he dead? Oh, please don't be dead. Oh, please don't be dead. Who am I gonna bully now? Face eater! Freak! What? Oh no, what's this? Oh crap, he dug his way out of prison! We got a cold black! Oh, I hope Shan Claus gets that shovel! Hey kid, it's me! <gasps> Shan Claus? <gasps> Shan Claus, is that you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. You don't look like Santa Claus. Uh, oh, oh that, that, that's because I'm in disguise. Yeah, I, I don't want anybody to recognize me. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Come on inside, Santa Claus. All right, Santa Claus, this is my room. It's a pretty nice place you get here, kid. How much is rent? Oh, I don't pay rent. Really? That's a pretty sweet gig. Oh, yeah, I got a question for you. What does a teardrop tattoo on your face mean? Does that mean you're a crybaby? Oh, yeah, I got a teardrop tattoo for every face I've eaten. I mean, I mean, uh, for, for every present I deliver, yeah. Oh, okay. And what's the number on your neck mean? Oh, oh, well, that, that's, uh, that, that, that's how many elves I got. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, listen, do you have a fork? Um, actually, I do. Right here. Here you go. Oh, cool. Thanks, thanks. And, uh, do you have any, uh, barbecue sauce for your face? No. That's okay. I'll just have to eat it raw, then. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question. Where's my PlayStation 5? L listen, kid, I don't know what that is. I've been in the slammer for the last 20 years. But you told me that you would give me a PlayStation 5 if I got you a shovel. Uh, okay, okay, whatever. Just let me eat your face first. Oh, well, can you come? See my daddy? He doesn't believe that Santa Claus is real. But no, I'm not gonna do that. But I 
need you to come see my daddy! Okay, fine, fine. Just whatever. Whatever will help me eat your face faster. Okay, now you need to put on your Santa Claus outfit. What? I, I don't I don't have that. All right, hold on. Let me go get you one. I'll be right back. All right, now you look like Santa Claus. So let's go say hi to my daddy. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get this over with. I'm hungry. Oh, actually, I got a question real quick. Why are you wearing lipstick? Oh, let's just say in prison I had to do some stuff I ain't proud of. No, come on, let's hurry this up. Okay. Mario, how long is Jeffy going to be grounded for? Until that criminal gets the electric chair because Jeffy was trying to help him escape. Oh, Fava. Jeffy, go back to your room. You were not supposed to leave. You're grounded. But, Daddy, I got a surprise for you. What? what did, did you get a vacuum to clean up all this glitter? No, even better. I'm going to turn you into a believer. What are you talking about? Oh, Santa Claus, get in here. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Mario, it's Santa Claus! I can't believe it! Santa Claus is really here! Man, you guys are idiots. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's me, Santa Claus! Yeah, Daddy, and you didn't want me sending him a shovel so he could escape! Because you were trying to help a criminal, but this is the real Santa Claus! Yeah, yeah, here, here I am. Mario, uh, I can't believe Santa Claus is here. Yeah, uh, so how long are you going to be here, Santa Claus? Oh, uh, you know, I was thinking about staying here for a little while. Well, you can stay here as long as you need. You can even share a room with Jeffy. Oh, great, great. Yeah, hey, Jeffy, why don't we just get this lumber party started now? Okay. I can't believe Santa Claus is really here. Mario, we met the real Santa. The real Santa, I'm a believer. All right, kid, let me eat your face. No more playing around. You sure talk about eating faces a lot. Well, it's because I'm hungry. My name is Face Eater. What do you expect? Oh, well, do you want me to go get you some ketchup or mustard or something? Yeah, yeah, actually, that'd be good. Okay, hold on. Mario, what do you think Jeffy and Santa Claus are doing in there? They're probably writing Jeffy's Christmas list. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Face Eater, the scary criminal, has escaped from prison by digging his way out using a shovel. How he got the shovel, we have no idea, but if you see him, call 911 immediately because he's extremely dangerous. Oh no! How do you think he escaped, Mario? I don't know, but I don't think Jeffy helped him because he's been with Santa Claus this whole time. You're right, Mario. Hey, hey, have any of you guys seen Face Eater? No, but I just saw on the news that he escaped. Yeah, the tracker in his anus says he's in this house somewhere. What? In this house? Don't worry, Mario. Santa will protect him. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus will protect him. But Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus showed up a few minutes ago and has been hanging out with Jeffy in his room. Uh, uh could, could you point me to the room that Santa Claus is in, please? Yeah, he's in Jeffy's room, the one with the bunk beds. Cool, thank you. Yeah, I got Face Eater. He's in a kid's room. There you are, Face Eater. Jeffy okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, Jeffy's safe, but he's gonna need years of therapy. Oh, God, so am I. <laughs> you folks have a Merry Christmas. All right, Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Danny, let me tell you something. I don't like school. I know you don't like school, Jeffy, but every kid has to go to school. Except for me, because I don't have to. You do, Jeffy, you do have to go to school. <sighs> Jeffy, I don't have time to play games. You're already <laughs> running late. Look, I'm gonna go wait in the car. You better be out there in two minutes. I have to brush my teeth first. <sighs> then brush your teeth really fast and then meet me in the car, okay? I'm gonna be outside. All right, daddy. Now I'm all out of toothpaste and I can't brush my teeth. Oh well. <sighs> Come on, Jeffy. We don't have all day. You have to go to school. <sighs> Get your ass in the car, Jeffy. It's time to go to school. I don't have to. You do have to, Jeffy. You do have to go to school. Get your ass in the car. I'm giving you a spanking. Well, you better clap these cheeks, Daddy, because I'm not going to school. Get your ass in the car, Jeffy, or I'm, getting, I'm taking your Fortnite. Fine, Daddy. You win. Oh, my God. So annoying. Where did Jeffy go? Jeffy! Where'd you go, Jeffy? Well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to leave without you. Uh, after school, I was going to take you on a, on a toy shopping spree. But since uh, you want to play games, uh, you know what? You're not going. So I'm leaving without you, Jeffy. Leaving without you. Ah! Wait, what was that? Ah! 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 Jeffy, what's wrong? You ran over my leg, Daddy. Whoa, whoa, 
was your leg doing behind the tire? What was your tire doing in front of my leg? Jimmy, why would you put your leg anywhere near a car tire? Because I didn't want to go to school. Well, was it worth it? Was it worth not going to school by breaking your leg? I don't know, Daddy. Do I have to go to school? Well, let me call a doctor. Just come on. <laughs> Jeffy, it's okay. I called the doctor. He's on his way. Daddy, I think my leg is broken. Well, stop swinging it around like that. <laughs> oh. Somebody call a doctor? Wait, is that a chicken leg? Oh yeah, you called me on my lunch break. It's okay, I got time. What's up? Well, uh, I accidentally ran over my son's leg with my car. How do you accidentally run over your son's leg? Well, it's a long story. We, we just want to know if it's broken. Well, if it's broken, why is he chewing on it? <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, spit that out! It really hurts, doctor. Well, how do you even know it's broken? Well, uh, Jeffy, are you sure it's broken? Hold on, let me make sure. Wait, what? <laughs> Give me the hammer. Well, if it wasn't broken, it definitely is now. Well, well, what do we do about it? Um, well, let me take an x-ray of the leg, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the x-ray. Is it broken? Oh, no, it's perfect, actually. Wait, really? Yeah, just look for yourself. Oh, man, doesn't that look delicious? Look at all the meat on there. Oh, it's going to be so good when I take this first bite. Oh. What are you doing? You're supposed to x-ray my son's leg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be smart. I should probably do that, too. Why would you x-ray a chicken leg? Oh, well, see, I'm paranoid, and I x-ray all the food that I eat, you know, in case somebody tries to hide some glass or razor blades or something in there. I'm like a walking Chernobyl from all the radiation that I've eaten. My balls have balls. I have a tail. I pee green slime. But that's, that's probably from something I did in college. You know, wrap it before you tap it. All right, so what are we doing about my son's leg? Are you gonna x-ray that? Yeah, sure, I can do that. But, uh, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. What, 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 ah! How rude! Just x-ray my son's leg so we can see if it's broken. Fine. Okay, so I got the x-ray. Is it a chicken leg again? No, it's your son's leg this time. Wait, so it's broken? Yeah, his fibula here looks pretty bad. It looks like a chair after my ex-wife sat on it. Broken, because she's fat. All right, so how do we fix my son's broken leg? Oh, it's fine. We'll just put a cast on it, and it'll heal on its own. A cast? B what the fuck? What? He doesn't have any toes. Jeffy, you don't have any toes? My little piggies went to the market. That's what my mommy told me. Yeah, they must have wee wee weed way the fuck home. They must have loved roast beef. Well, can we give them like a toe transplant? A toe transplant? What, are you going to donate your toes? I don't have any to give. Uh, uh, okay, okay, well, let's just get back to the leg. So you have to put a cast on it? Yeah, I guess I can put a cast on the leg right now. All right. So how's the cast coming? Oh, it's coming pretty good. I'm almost done. Uh, Jeffy, could you hold that down for me? Yeah. All right. And done. Oh, look at that. It's just like new. Now I can finally eat it. Oh. What, what? oh, come on. I just wrapped that. You were supposed to wrap my son's broken leg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I could do that, too. Just do that. His leg is broken. All right, fine. Ugh. All right. And done. There's the cast. How's the cast feel on your leg, Jeffy? There's a big-ass sock, Daddy. It's not a sock, Jeffy. It's a cast. There's my baseball bat. Batter up. <laughs> you just got hit in the head with my pee, pee Daddy. 16 inches of Jeffy pipe. <laughs> Okay, how long do you have to wait the cast for? Uh, probably about six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks? That's forever! What are you, five years old? Oh, that's forever! That's what you sound like. Oh, okay, what about him going to school? How's he gonna go to school? No, oh, he can't go to school. He pretty much just has to sit in bed and not move. Just get him whatever he needs. I already do that for him! Oh, good. Then this shouldn't be too hard. Alright, well, I will see you again in forever. <sighs> Jeffy, look, let's just get in bed so you can't move. Alright, daddy. Pick up my pee pee. <sighs> <laughs> you're touching my pee-pee, Daddy. It's your leg. All right, Jeffy, look, you're going to stay in your room for six to eight weeks until your leg gets better. So if you need anything, just call me. Daddy! What, Jeffy? Daddy, I don't want to be in my room anymore. I want to go back to the couch. I just brought you to your room, Jeffy. Why didn't you tell me that when we were leaving the couch? Because I just got lonely when you left. <sighs> All right, let's go to the couch. All right, Jeffy, you're back on the couch. Well, now, Danny, I want to go back to my room. Well, no, Jeffy, you're not going back to your room. We were just in your room, and you wanted to come to the couch, so you're staying on the couch. Well, I changed my mind. Well, I'm not going to help you walk from here to your room over and over again. Well, if you didn't break my leg, then I would just walk to my room myself. I did not break your leg, Jeffy. Oh, okay, Danny. Well, I guess a ghost was driving your car and put your car in reverse and backed over my leg. Well, Jeffy, I wouldn't have ran over your leg if you didn't stick your leg under the tire. Well, you should been paying more attention, Daddy! I, I guess you're right, Jeffy. I should have been paying attention when I was driving. So I guess it is my fault for breaking your leg, so I'm sorry. Well, apology not accepted, Daddy! Well, whatever, Jeffy. If you need anything, just call me. Daddy! What? Oh, I'm hungry. What do you want to eat? French fries. You're not eating French fries for dinner, Jeffy. That's not healthy. Oh, well, I guess I'll just sit here with my, with my broken leg that you caused and just starve and think about French fries. 
All right, oh. Jeffy, fine. I'll get you French fries. We're green ketchup. Green ketchup? Yep. There's no such thing as green ketchup. Well, then find it, Daddy! <sighs> fine, Jeffy. Just lower your voice. All right, Jeffy, here's your French fries. Where's my green ketchup? And here's your green ketchup. Oh, hell yeah, Daddy. Give me some. Hey, Daddy, I'm about to sneeze. <sighs> Well, you know what, Jeffy? You better eat all of that. <laughs> I'm not eating that shit. Looks like boogers and poop. Well, Jeffy, I went all the way to the store. I went all the way to the store to get that. You're being a dickhole. <laughs> you broke Jeffy's leg, and now you're saying Jeffy's a dickhole? I didn't ask for my leg to be broken. Okay, Jeffy, what do you want me to do with this? What, what do you want me to do with it? Throw it away. I don't like it. <sighs> Jeffy. I went all the way to the store to get you green ketchup, and now you're not going to eat it. Oh, I can't believe Jeffy's being annoying. Daddy! I'm coming, Jeffy! Daddy! What, Jeffy? Can you get me my cat piano? Where's it at? It's right behind you. Jeffy, why didn't you just get it? Because my leg is broken! <sighs> oh, Daddy! Oh, I'm sorry, Jeffy. Well, just because you broke my leg once doesn't mean you have to keep torturing me, Daddy. Oh, look, look. here's your cat piano. I'm sorry, Jeffy. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Jeffy, you, you, why, why are you hitting it with your broken leg? Doesn't that hurt? Oh, it hurts real bad, Daddy. Well, then use your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, if you need anything, just call me. <laughs> Daddy! What, Jeffy? I love you. I love you, too. Oh, look, 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 look. Instead of screaming my name every time you want something, look. Here's a bell, so every time you want something, just ring the bell and I'll get it. Oh, hell yeah, dang, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, so that's how it works. Every time you want something, just ring the bell. All right, so I'll see you later. Jeffy, stop it. I want something, Daddy. What do you want? A bowl of ice cream. You're not getting a bowl of ice cream because you didn't eat your french fries with the green ketchup. Ice cream. No ice cream. Ice cream. No ice cream. Ice cream. No ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Oh, fine, I'll get it, you little shit. <laughs> First you break Jeffy's leg, then you call him a dickhole, and then you call him a little shit. <laughs> okay, I'll get your stupid ice cream. All right, Jeffy, here's your ice cream. What do you want now? A new daddy. Why? Because you're full of shit. Why would you say that, Jeffy? Where's the chocolate ice cream at, daddy? You never said you wanted chocolate ice cream. You just said you wanted ice cream. I always eat chocolate ice cream. Well, next time say you want chocolate ice cream so I know what you want. Chocolate ice cream. I'm not getting you chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. You already have ice cream. We don't have chocolate. Chocolate ice cream. I'm not getting you chocolate ice cream. SpongeBob toys. What? SpongeBob, I'm not getting you SpongeBob toys. Go get it. No. Hop ass, Daddy. I'm not getting SpongeBob toys. <laughs> SpongeBob toys. I'm going. What do you think I'm doing? All right, Jeffy, this is the only SpongeBob toy I could find. Danny, what's wrong with SpongeBob? He looks just as cracked out as you are. Jeffy, look, it's just a fun toy. Help me stretch it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, why'd you let go of it? Because it was annoying as fuck. Well, Jeffy, that was the only SpongeBob toy I could find. More SpongeBob toys! Well, look, they didn't have SpongeBob, but they had Patrick. Danny, that was my face when I saw the girl with the fat ass. It was also my face when I found out that we didn't have any chocolate ice cream. Well, Jeffy, those are the only two toys you can play with. That's the only ones I could find. Fortnite pinata. What? Pinata? Fortnite pinata. It's not your birthday. Where am I going to get a pinata at? Fortnite pinata. Okay, I'll Google it. I'll find it. All right, Jeffy, here's your Fortnite pinata. Daddy, where did you bump your head at? What? That is not the Fortnite pinata. Well, I don't know what Fortnite is. Go play Fortnite and try again. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, how about this? Oh, hell yeah, Daddy. That's what I'm talking about. Give me see it. <laughs> well, well, you, why would you break it, Jeffy? It came off of the thing. Jeffy, no! why would you break it? I don't know, Daddy. I was just trying to get it open. Well, well look, there's cool stuff inside it, like... like Whatever those are and, and toys? Yeah, look. Fortnite toys? Look, there's someone at the door. So look, just just play with this and I'll be right back. Thanks, Daddy. Uh, hello? Hey, I'm Jeffy Teacher. And I see you no come to school today. 
And I hear you break your leg. Yes, uh, Jeffy broke his leg, and he's not going to be able to come back to school for six to eight weeks. Oh, just because he break his leg doesn't mean he doesn't have to run. So I bring you six to eight weeks worth of homework, and he has to do it whilst he fails. Oh, yes, he still needs to learn, even though uh, he broke his leg, so I'll make sure he does this, okay? All right. Thank you. All right, Jeffy. Who is at the door, Daddy? It was your teacher. What did his ass want? Well, he brought you the next six to eight weeks worth of schoolwork. Schoolwork? I'm not even in school. Yes, Jeffy, but just because you broke your leg doesn't mean you can't learn. Well, my brain don't work. We all know that, Jeffy. I'm not doing it. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Eat my ass. You know what? No more bell. No, Dad, hold on. I gotta ding it. I got something to say. Fuck you! No more bell for you, Jeffy. Dang, this was my face when I saw all that homework I got! And that's gonna be your teacher's face when you finish all this homework. Oh. <sighs> Alright, Jeffy, you only have a few more pages of homework left. Kill me. <gasps> Jeffy, I think that's the doctor. It's been six to eight weeks. I think you get your cast off today. Yay! Alright, and there you go. The cast is off and your leg is back to normal. Well, back to normal for you, you no toe heaven freak. Well, Doctor, thanks for fixing his leg. Jeffy, I hope you learned your lesson these last six to eight weeks. I sure did, Daddy. Now get ready to go to school, okay? Okay. <sighs> Hopefully Jeffy learned his lesson. Where? Jeffy! Where are you at, Jeffy? <sighs> Jeffy, what are you doing? Daddy, you better hurry up and run these bitches over, because I'm looking forward to another six to eight